Hello everyone. In this video, we will study about host to host transport layer. We will study understanding function of TCP. We will understand the function of UDP, TCP versus UDP, TCP IP ports. Host to host transport layer. The protocol layer above the network layer is called the host to host layer. It provides the end-to-end -end connectivity between the networking devices and is responsible for data integrity. Host-to-host -host transport layer generally uses two types of protocols that is TCP and UDP. TCP is a transmission control protocol helps in transmitting data in the form of segments. A large amount of data can be break into segments and each segment would have a sequence number. On transmission of segments, TCP protocol at destination will put the segments back in order using the sequence numbers. TCP is a reliable, full duplex, connection oriented protocol. UDP is a user datagram protocol. It is connectionless protocol and gives application program a direct access to datagram delivery service. Direct access allows application to exchange data over the network with minimal requirements. UDP is connectionless protocol so it is unreliable than TCP as it does not verify the data transmitted to destination. Function of TCP Before sending the data, sender's TCP protocol contacts the destination's TCP protocol for establishing the connection. Transmission control protocol breaks large block of information into segments. Segments transmit using the sequence number and these segments are rearranged at destination using sequence numbers to form a meaningful data. After sending the segments, transmitting host TCP waits for an acknowledgement from receiving host TCP. If Receiving host TCP does not receive a particular segment or receives segment with errors, then it will ask for retransmit the segment with specified sequence number. This type of communication is called as connection oriented. Three-way handshake in TCP. TCP always follow three-way handshake. That's why it is called reliable protocol and connection oriented protocol. In the figure you can see client send the sync to server, servers then send the acknowledgement, client will send acknowledgement and connection will be established with the server. Function of UDP. UDP offers a minimal set of functionality and does not guarantee the delivery, message order, tracking of connection state. UDP is unreliable transport protocol but provides the best effort delivery system. The receiver does not generate an acknowledgement and which makes it unreliable. In the figure you can see client is sending the request but server is not sending the acknowledgement to client instead it is sending the response and response is again generated from client to server. So UDP is suitable for streaming applications like VoIP, video streaming where unreliability can be ignored and best effort is required. UDP is good to use when data flows in one direction. UDP does not provide congestion control mechanism. UDP is stateless. UDP does not guarantee ordered delivery of data. TCP versus UDP. Let's discuss the differences between TCP and UDP. TCP is a reliable protocol. UDP is an unreliable protocol. TCP is connection oriented whereas UDP is connection less. In TCP, segment retransmission is possible whereas in UDP, there is not retransmission of segments. Flow control through windowing is possible in TCP. In UDP, there is no windowing. Segment sequencing is possible in TCP 
whereas in UDP there is no sequencing means in every segment it transmit to the destination have a sequence number but UDP do not use sequence number acknowledgement segments in TCP segments are acknowledged whenever segment is received at receiver end it sends the acknowledgement to the sender but in UDP there are no acknowledgements TCP IP ports TCP IP ports are ports that are used for transferring data from one device to another device using the network TCP IP ports are of two types like TCP ports and UDP ports TCP ports as we discussed are connection oriented UDP ports that use the connectionless state TCP ports like FTP SMTP, HTTPS, HTTP, RPC etc. In TCP file transfer protocol uses port number 21 for transferring the files from one device to another. SMTP stands for simple mail transfer protocol uses port number 25 for mail exchange. HTTPS port 443 and used for browsing the data over the internet. HTTP port 80 RPC that is stands for remote processor call and uses port number 135. Likewise UDP ports are DNS, NetBIOS name, NetBIOS datagrams. DNS uses port 53 for DNS queries. NetBIOS names uses port 137 and NetBIOS datagrams uses 138 etc. TCP IP ports are very much required whenever devices are communicated with each other and user is expecting a response from the server. If user is sending data or files from one device to another using the FTP protocol, the port number 21 must be open for transferring the data. Likewise, for sending the mail, SMTP port 25 must be open in firewalls at both the locations. For example, let's say host A is sitting in location 1 and host B is sitting in location 2. If host A is sending or transferring the files from location 1 to location 2 to the host B, then port number must be opened in firewalls at both the locations whether it is a TCP port or UDP port. NetBIOS application in the figure you can see NetBIOS applications which we use to access the various application or data over the internet or locally. So when we are viewing the data it must be opened with the browser or application that is supporting the data. NetBIOS API which is providing the programmable interface to access the data. NetBIOS of over TCP IP. It uses IPv4 for sending and receiving the data over the internet or intranet. So let's say when we are sending the data or receiving the data there may be requirement for opening the ports uh, NetBIOS sessions, NetBIOS names, NetBIOS datagrams. In that case we will open TCP port for NetBIOS sessions and UDP port for NetBIOS names and NetBIOS datagrams. In the similar way we can open other ports as well as per the requirement. We are ending the session here. Please like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.